The Marbug Virus Welcome to a world where the polio virus still looms large, driving doctors into a frenzy as they hunt for a vaccine. When rats turn out elusive, they turn to a new test monkey, and quite literally, actual Ugandan blue monkeys. Just as they become hopeful, the story takes a wild turn. Scientists start collapsing, hit by fever. And that marks the start of the Marbug virus. Since 1967, the Marbug virus has been responsible for the death of over 200 people. People who are infected by the virus start experiencing symptoms like headaches, fever, and terrible stomach issues. It is transmitted by contact with blood and other body fluids, like sweat. Victims usually don't show signs until 2 or 20 days after infection and can suffer internal bleeding and organ damage. No vaccines exist yet. Ironically, in their quest for a cure, they've only stumbled upon a new maze, and a terrible one indeed, the Ebola virus. A fatality rate of up to a frightening 90% explains how deadly the Ebola virus is. First re-emerging in Sudan in 1976, it's as lethal as the bubonic plague, but spread by bats. Severe symptoms like high fever, bleeding, and organ failure. It's a nightmare scenario, something even Batman would dread. A myth says the virus melts organs. But the truth is even scarier. It destroys the spleen and kidneys, crippling the body's defenses. Victims suffer from dehydration, sore throat, difficulty breathing, internal bleeding, sudden fever, and intense pain and headaches. The virus rapidly multiplies in the liver, leading to stomach pain and vomiting. Luckily, there is now a vaccine. Approved in 2019, RVSV-ZEBOV combats the Ebola virus with great potential. For high-risk individuals, the drug has been a breakthrough in the fight against one of the world's deadliest microbial terror, rabies. No one is new to a dog bite, but you may not know that it could drive one crazy. Spread by saliva from raccoons, bats, squirrels, and of course, dogs, the rabies virus is among the Lyssa virus family. Coincidentally, Lyssa is Latin for rage. The virus is a literal maddening virus. You might expect that your body's defenses would kick in early and punch down the evil virus. But really, your immune system doesn't even realize the virus is present. You may be wondering why. It's because the virus replicates slowly and silently, so it easily slips into the brain and nervous tissues without being suspected. An actual silent killer. Rabies symptoms may include drooling, confusion, wild hyperactivity, and a strange and intense fear of water. But here's what you don't know. Getting a vaccine against rabies after a bite will help you stay alive. You'll have no symptoms at all. So, the next time you get bitten by a dog and assume it's just a minor injury, remember that dog's bites can lead to rabies, the hantavirus, the lethal pathogen spread by rodents. Hantavirus creates a name for it. Even with a fatality rate of around 38%, it's no minor threat. This secret killer exists in rodent droppings, making proper hygiene and rodent control essential. The virus causes hantavirus pulmonary syndrome, HPS, which begins with signs of flu at first. Fever, muscle aches, and fatigue are among the first symptoms. With time, it grows to grave respiratory issues, with the lungs getting flooded with fluids. More than 600 cases have been reported since its discovery in 1993. There's no cure for now, and people get treated by having to manage the symptoms. Detecting it very early is important and can help to control the disease. In worst cases, patients may have to be hospitalized to get supportive care, including oxygen therapy. Again, there is no cure for this virus. It is very important that you don't stay around where infected people are. HIV AIDS 100 years ago, the world fought the human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, which has since claimed the lives of over 36 million people. This virus, when present in a person's body and left untreated, transforms what is known as acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. Right now, over 50 million people are living with this disease. Where HIV really came from is still not clear. But some people believe it must have come from simian monkeys and bounced onto humans turning into it the deadly virus as soon as it settled into the body. Do you think we got it from monkeys? Share your thoughts in the comments section. The virus is transmitted by sex or blood contamination. 
sharing of needles and other sharp objects is definitely not the wisest thing to do. Fun fact! Contrary to the widespread idea that mosquitoes can transmit HIV, there has been no cases of such. Factually, insects don't transmit HIV. Antiretroviral drugs like zidovudine and azidothiamine have been used to treat AIDS, though their healing powers might still be questionable. Like hantavirus, most viral infections here, managing HIV might require hospitalization and intensive care. The rotavirus. A cannibalistic menace. Particularly for young children, rotavirus is responsible for over 200,000 deaths annually, wreaking havoc with symptoms like severe diarrhea, dehydration, and vomiting. Basically stomach issues. But rotavirus is not completely uncontrollable. When children are immunized early enough, their lives can be saved. Dengue fever. Many people might be aware that dengue fever has killed millions worldwide. From hundreds of thousands in the 1970s to almost a billion in the last two decades, dengue fever really took lives. Like the deadly malaria disease, the dengue virus is borne by mosquitoes. Symptoms include high fever, severe headaches, joint and muscle pain, nausea, and a rash. In the worst cases, it becomes dengue hemorrhagic fever, which can be very deadly if not treated. Infected victims bleed to death that started from something as small as a mosquito bite. Prevention is important. You can use mosquito repellents or mosquito nets to avoid being bitten. Make sure you put on long sleeves and pants when outside. Clear stagnant water around your home. Eliminate all mosquito breeding grounds. Beat the bite. Smallpox. Over a millennia ago, smallpox wiped out over a third of Japan's population. Technically, one third of the people who suddenly went blind in the 18th, 19th century actually suffered from the disease. Smallpox, a disease that is easily contagious, is caused by the variola virus. Thanks to vaccination efforts that helped eradicate it since 1980, we can now save ourselves from this virus. Signs of smallpox include high fever, body aches, and a rash that turns into bumps filled with fluids. Smallpox killed millions year after year during its peak, making it one of the deadliest diseases in history. Again, vaccines were at our rescue. COVID-19. Let's go back to the year 2019 when everyone was going about their daily business. What we didn't know was that we were about to witness a global lockdown that would shake the world. The coronavirus pandemic forced people to stay at homes and also claimed the lives of 5 million people worldwide. As of now, there have been over 250 million confirmed cases, which shows the virus's ability to spread, affecting societies and economies worldwide. There have been theories of its reoccurrence. One conspiracy theory viewed it as a biological way for the new world order to begin. Another explained that it was created in a lab and allowed to spread to test its potency on humans on a much larger scale. Whether a scientific hoax or a test experiment, nobody knows. The virus, like other of its kind, SARS, brutally destroys the respiratory system, which they also use as their means of transmission. As it turns out, lockdowns were important in curbing the spread of this virus. The Influenza Virus The Influenza Virus with its random mutations, was a silent killer, claiming millions of lives throughout history till date. It proved relentless in its pursuit of victims. This virus shook nations and changed people's lives, reminding us of how much we should protect ourselves from these viruses. With more than 100 million deaths in 1918, the virus could almost not be stopped. By 1919, over two-fifths of the world had been infected. While there's no cure for the influenza virus, antiviral medications like Tamiflu and Oseltamivir may help remove the symptoms. Yearly immunizations with flu vaccines can also help in preventing the infection. Also, practice proper hygiene. Junine virus. While some viruses are known for their mayhem, this virus is one that leaves us questions. Let's go to Junine, Argentina, to get some answers. In the mid-20th century, farm workers on a grain farm all came down with a cold. They were soon placed on doses of anti-flu medication in hopes of getting themselves back to the farm soon. Then a week passed by, and no one got better. Then two weeks, then three weeks. In fact, it worsened, and soon the farmers were all puking blood and bleeding crazy. What was happening? As it turned out, 
what they thought was a mere flu was actually a more dangerous viral infection caused by the Junine virus. This virus was actually transmitted to the farmers by rodents that had infested the farm. Rat bite? Nope. The respiratory molecules of the rodents were transmitted through the air to the farmers. With a mortality rate between 20 to 30 percent, the Junine virus, as gorgeous a name as it is, is a curse to man. It is not transmitted by human-to-human contact, but rather by aerosolized respiratory particles from the rodents. Symptoms may include fever and malaise initially, but can proliferate to hemorrhage, sepsis, and neurological defects a week later. The candid number one vaccine discovered in the late 20th century is the only means of treating this nemesis. Yet, the virus remains a torture to mankind, at least to the Argentines. What do we know? In the world of different forms of life, many microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, and prosodones have taken advantage of human life to breed, contaminating almost anything that comes in their way. It's sad that we may never get to stop other viruses from springing up. Yet, we can always prevent them with proper hygiene and also the practice of good dieting and lifestyle. While they build their strengths, let's build our defenses against them. Which of these viruses do you find most lethal? The comment section awaits all your questions. For more interesting videos, click the subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. You don't want to miss anything. See you in the next video. Bye.